Hey guys, thanks for tuning into SimTech channel. My name is Chad. This is tutorial number six on our series of tutorial on IDMT relays calculation. Now in this tutorial, we are asked to calculate a suitable plug setting for a relay which has a 110% pickup value and operates off a 200 over one CT ratio if the fault level is 5.1K amp. Okay, that is 5,100 amp. And the system supplies four motors, each drawing four amp under normal running condition. And has six times normal running current during starting. Consider the motors to be interlocked so that no more than one motor can start at one time. Okay, that's very important. So you have to understand the problem statement before you venture into solving. Already from from here, we can see that the relay has a 110% pickup value. So that is the settings for the disk. Okay. So that means we have to consider solving it for overload condition. Because if it, if the relay had a 90% pickup value, we will be solving for normal condition. And then we can see that there are motors that are involved. We know that motors always draw more current when it starts, but for a short period of time, which means we might consider an overload condition. So moving on for the solutions, we're going to calculate the plug settings multiplier, that is M. And once again, guys, before we move on, please consider subscribing to SimTech channel and give this tutorial a thumbs up and stay tuned for more tutorial. So let's see how we can get answers into this problem. We must understand now here that calculate for overload condition, we must consider the condition where there is the highest overload current. So for four motors, okay, that means they are interlocked. So one is starting at a time. So the highest overload condition will be when three motors are running and then the fourth one is starting. So which means that condition will then be, okay, three times 40. So that's the three motors running at 40 amps each plus one motor that is starting. That will be 40 times six, the starting current. And we're going to have a current of 360 amps. That is a high current. Okay. Now to calculate the multiple of settings, we first need to calculate the plug settings. And the formula for the plug settings is given by plug setting overload is equal to I, not normal load, I overload. So this one is standing order overload over 1.1. So you can see the 1.1 here is actually the 110% pickup value times the CT ratio over the nominal current. Now, the nominal current is not given as we can see here, but already you can see that the relay here, the CT, uh, the, the current transformer has a ratio of 200 over 1, so which means the 1 here is our nominal current. Now, from here, now we can just go ahead and replace the value. 360 over 1.1 times 200 times 1. So that gives us a value of 1.63. And automatically, this value must be converted, okay, to the highest available plug settings, which is 175%. Now, moving on, we can then calculate M using the M formula that is given by M is equal to I fold over CT ratio times I n times the plug setting. We already have the plug settings and the fault current. We can then go ahead and then replace. So that will be 5.1 kilo amps over the CT ratio times one and our plug settings that give us the M value of 14.57. Now moving on, the next thing to calculate is the TC. Okay. That is the relay operating time. Now to calculate the relay operating time, we have to make use of the formula that is already given here. TC is equal to 1.26 over log. And from my previous tutorial, if you looked it up, the TC is equal to 1.6 over log M square is a characteristic for the very inverse characteristic curve. Now moving on, we then going to calculate our TC by replacing exactly all the value that we already calculated. So TC will be equal to 1.182 second. Okay, now we move on into the last and third question, number C. 
That is what is a TMS if the relay is required to operate in 0.4 seconds. So the 0.4 second is actually the actual time. So we know that TMS, okay, that is equal to TA over TC. And replacing all the values, that means that TMS is equal to 0 0.34 seconds. So that is how you can solve this kind of problem very quickly with high precision and understanding. Once again, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to give the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That would be highly appreciated. Until next time, see you again. Cheers.